Tonight is probably the greatest example of performance art anywhere in America. It's the wonderful combination of human expression, of language, of lighting, of music, all to produce the single indefinable thing called art. It's one of the things I look forward to every year. I first came in 1983, and then not even knowing what it was. Here I am, it's now 2019, so obviously it affected me in a great way. It's a totally unique show that is done nowhere else in the world, and it's absolutely amazing how they do it. They recreate famous paintings with real people and sets and costumes and everything. It's hard to believe it's not the painting. It's people. You've got to see it to, to really believe that they can do it, the things they do, creating the masters. It's sort of like uh, capturing history at that moment. And then you can come up with a feeling of what it was like. And it's remarkable, entertaining, enjoyable, funny, informative, and a way of keeping history alive. We're here supporting the arts in lovely Laguna Beach, the center of art today, the pageant of the masters. It's an expression of art unlike any other on the planet. The only place on earth where live individuals get to present themselves in a tableau that'll be recognizable from about 20 feet back. I think you'll be very surprised because these are things that you've seen all your life. Some of them you'll think you'll never see because a lot of them are in European collections and suddenly they move and they're real. And that's how you describe it three-dimensional actors walking into a scene and freezing it just at the right moment, I mean it transports you somewhere else. And you're trying to see the trickery and you really, really can't. It's stunning that what they're able to recreate with live bodies and you're actually thinking you're looking at the paintings when, you, you know, when you're observing them. But uh, it's a fantastic experience and the artistry and everything that's put together to make it happen is incredible. And the other part of it is, is the volunteers that make it possible. I just, I heard that it's families, which I didn't know, um, that are up there like volunteers, and that it's masterpiece art, well-known art, that's living people on stage, dressed the part with special lighting so it looks just like the painting. Somebody came up with this wild idea 80 some years ago and was like, I got a great idea. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to paint this massive picture and I'm going to put people in it. What do you think? <laughs> and yet it's phenomenal. It's like this amazing, amazing experience. They do this every year and it's quite amazing. Uh, it's all volunteers and they, they form these works of art with stillness and they dress them up and it's very exciting. Watching it take place in front of your eyes. I'm curious to see the theme this year, which is the time machine, kind of. So I'm trying to see how, if they have managed to work in some of the old masters into that theme. Working on the time machine this year was one of the most exciting themes that we've ever tried to make work on the pageant stage. And I think the audience tonight is going to be in for a lot of surprises. And tonight is a very special night for all of us. It's done differently every year. and. Uh, it's something that I think everybody should uh, come and visit and enjoy and contribute to the nonprofit organization for artists. Tonight is, uh, is an event made for um, donating to the arts and keeping this festival alive. And there's a car <laughs> giveaway, which is great because the, obviously the money goes to yeah. the festival. So that's incredible too because we want to keep this place, you know, having these beautiful events every year. Yeah, it's my third year at the Pageant of the Masters and this is wonderful to keep the vitality of art alive. Anything that I can do to support the arts and support the continuation of what we do as artists is highly important to me. We're raising money um, and also I would say awareness for how important the arts are in our lives. Um, I guess the better question might be imagine life without them. I come here every year. I so love it but it's also a fundraiser for the arts and we need that because those arts aren't in the schools anymore and, um, and we need to keep that going. You can't ever give too much for art and I think that when you know the art's coming to life, how can you not want to give back? Melissa Manchester's here on the lawn, that famous spot where all great celebrities eventually have to pass through if they're worth their weight in gold. Rolling Stones have not been here yet, but I'm expecting them next year. I think she might be the only person ever to be nominated twice for writing 
an Academy Award nominated song in the same year. Grammy winner, I'm really proud that she's here supporting this and this is her second time performing at Patch and the Masters, so I'm looking forward to seeing her. Venus to Milo was known for her charms. Strictly between us, you're cute about Venus and what's more you got on the sofa. Let's go in the corner and they go to the little corner. Love is just around the corner. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Festival of Arts, I want to welcome you to the year-round role and our special performance of the Time Machine. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. John Oher. In this magical world, tonight we are going to watch performance art unlike anything we have ever seen anywhere in this country. Tonight's winner will receive a brand new 2019 Acura RDX, courtesy of our sponsor, Southern California Acura Dealers. I'm going deep. I just spoke into my champagne glass. <laughs> Arna Vendenos. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy the time machine. You can't describe it because you can't, and that's, and that's the gift of coming here for the first time. You have to just see it and experience it yourself, and so I'm here and I'm just, I cannot wait. Everyone should come, uh, and if you come, you'll probably come again and again and again. For me to describe it would be silly because you, no matter how you describe it, you can't describe it well enough, so I think all I would tell anybody is just come see it and then you'll understand.